Welcome back to Bump Club. Today we are having Pearl Crazy Kachitahe with us, the beautiful stay home mom. Uh, so she'll be telling us what it feels like uh, to be a stay home mom in the world today. Forget about when I was a stay home mom, that's like a hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> when Welcome every mom home. was like as if a stay home mom. Yes. Yeah. Nowadays now you are you... an endangered species. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But thank you for having me on the show. Oh, it's nice to have you. You look beautiful. Like yeah. you you're you glowing. glowing. Like, like yeah. we see you and we see Madame. You look like you are you are relaxed. Yes. Yes. Then you. this stress one will be on you. I love you. It. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should stay home. <laughs> you can't manage. Maybe well, no, I can't. If that's, that's one of the look. pluses of Maybe. staying at home. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, stress. you really do. You manage your stress. Oh, plus free spirits. Mm -hmm. Fashion house by my sister. She oh. will not allow me to go around looking scruffy. Oh, oh that's that's so so yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. Yes, that's how they do. Yeah, that must be. Yeah, yeah. Should have been there those days of somebody's less. Yeah. 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 So I'm curious, Paul. You are a stay-home mom, and earlier we're talking about how you know none of us are stay-home moms. We'll never be stay-home moms. We and I felt we were talking from a place of privilege. We don't understand what the dynamics are. Mm -hmm. So how did you arrive at this? you know, at that position of saying, you know what, husband can go to work, he'll earn, you know, bring home the bacon, mm -hmm. I'll stay home and raise the children. What was the process like? I, I want to add on that to question. question. <laughs> because, like, I knew Pearl mm -hmm. in, in, in the workplace. Yes. Like, she's like a... Super mm, driven? A super, like, an Force. HR, like, she collected what total church and just... Mm. So like all of us, like yeah. she's so good <laughs> at what she, she does. does. And then one day she Woke resigns, mm. and I remember you know going and asking her, huh? so uh -huh, so which place? It's so lucky yeah, to have so got you. Now. Then she said, my kids. Oh. <laughs> I think for me it was three critical things. Mm -hmm. I've been a stay-at-home mom twice. So the first time was when we just given birth to our firstborn son. And uh, you know the challenges of being a first time yeah. mom, breast milk is not coming. So he was born 3.4 kilos, and at his six week checkup, he was 3.7 kilos. That's not good. So I struggled with that. I took my three months leave plus one month annual leave, that's, that's four months. Mm -hmm. But even then he wasn't growing well. So I went back to work for about a month. Mm -hmm. But you'd come back and ask the maid, you know, how has the baby been? Have they taken yeah. their milk? And they're like, you know, the baby yeah, didn't take. Yeah, you de katono, you know? What is katono? And they, I didn't feel that she was taking the effort to look after this child. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, we spoke about it with my husband. And uh, at that time for me, it was to be able to care for yeah. Isaiah. Yeah. Yes. And so, I, that time I was working at uh, as an HR administrator for a hotel had worked about a year and eight months mm. so i made that decision we made that decision i stayed home mm. i wish i had brought pictures but just within three months of staying yeah. home that mm. difference yeah. is incredible, yeah. is incredible. Yeah. that's what angie was saying uh I, he thrived he put on so much weight actually now that danger was that he's going to <laughs> 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 then a couple of months later, we found out I was expecting again. So I was like, you know, why not just, just, just stay home? Okay. Yes. Look after our second born, mm. which I did. And then when he got to about nine months, I started, uh, I, I did a course at UMI. Because mm. the plan, I'd always wanted to have two children. My husband said when we were dating, that's not what we agreed. But <laughs> I think either the pain of childbirth, you're like, mm. two are enough. Yeah. yeah. So the, I was now getting ready to go back into the work, workplace. Okay. So I did a postgraduate diploma mm. in human resources. And then uh, went back to work when our second born was one year and eight months. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I was able to breastfeed him for close to two years, which yeah. is the recommended um, yeah. age. Yes. And he's very healthy. He's had a couple of, um, you know, ch you know, challenges with uh, 
just some breathing yeah. mm -hmm. but over right. then overall that tapered out mm -hmm. you know? yeah. so he's generally healthy mm -hmm. um and was able to do that so i was glad so the second time so the first critical incidence was the health of our, ch our child yeah. the second time was after i'd worked for about five years at watoto the children were older and I think the misconception is children need us when we are when they are younger, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and as they grow older, yay, freedom. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sort of found that. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so You're sorry. Tell me, I'm yay. And I'm waiting for that yay to go louder. <laughs> I am so sorry no. to bust your bubble, mm. but it's different. Yes. So a young child below two years, you just really make sure they're. Fed, they're warm, they're comfortable, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And there's a bit of stimu there's stimulation. Yes, yes, a lot of yes. stimulation. Yes. <laughs> but now, as they grow older, they start asking questions, they're interacting, yes. they're going to yeah. school, you need to do the school runs. Mm -hmm. yes. So you're trying to run from the office to beat the traffic. Mm -hmm. So the boys were in, in, a, in their primary school when, you know, I made that decision. But as they were growing older, we realized that one, they needed to learn. Mm. Not to go to school, but, but to, to learn. learn. Yeah. yeah. There is a very big, big very difference. Very big difference. Yes. yes. So because they would go to school, but then you'd find they are sort of regurgitating. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm. yes. So yes. you want them to learn. So you need to be able to create that environment. You teach them life. Mm. But secondly, I also worked with a purpose. When I started at the workplace that uh, Manuela mentioned, there was a purpose. Yeah. Mm. Uh, certain things to accomplish that I felt that needed to be done. And towards the, the time that I felt I needed to leave, when I looked at my list, they were actually all done except mm. one. Yeah. And I had said, if it's not done, I'm happy to pass that on. Mm. Yeah. So I felt that time had come to move on. But I also felt that we needed to now be more engaged in the children's lives mm -hmm. as they are growing older. Yeah. Because otherwise, who is answering their questions? Yeah. If you're out networking, it's the maid and the TV. Yeah. Yeah. So we just made a decision that for one of us to really be engaged in our children's lives yeah. needs to be at home. Yeah. And so that's how we arrived at the decision. decision. Mm -hmm. The third one, which is very interesting, is related to my job. I'm a human resource uh, specialist. And I asked myself the question, if I were to hire somebody, yeah. I would want the best possible person for mm. my child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So who would be the best possible person for your child? Mama. It would be you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have housekeepers and nannies that, you know, we get la young ladies from the village. Some of them don't know English. Mm -hmm. Some of them, you don't know what their exposure is. And yeah. these are the yeah. people we are trusting with our children. children yeah. Yeah. So I felt that I was the best possible person yeah. to take care of my children. And mm -hmm. so that's, that's what made that decision. Yeah. 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 Easy. Yeah. 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 It's amazing. Yeah. So when you're saying that um, when he gets aside, when does parenting end? Yeah. 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 Like when I got to that point, like I, I knew like I don't know how to stay home. Like while for me, motherhood like is such an important thing for mothers. Uh, the work I do right now is to help mothers. Yeah. Uh, like at the cradle, we got a curriculum based on feedback from mothers on what they would like their children to learn if they were at home with their children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like now for me at that point, I'm wondering does that even become a solution for moms like you do you understand what i mean where you say okay i can't be there but yes i can take them to it like the a facility, facility or to an institution yeah. where they can you know like a maid like you said the maid she's uneducated yeah. inexperienced yeah. someone from the other side mm -hmm. but now you have an institution that's um that's taking care of your child like that is yeah. is is that a, a possible trade-off oh, wow. does that does that make sense okay so you talked about the first question can you have possibilities like that and i'm sure it is but you're still delegating, delegating. Yeah. the responsibility to somebody else yeah and how are you managing 
quality yeah. yeah so it's easy for organizations like the cradle because maybe you share the same ethos yeah but any other daycare may not mm-hmm. yeah that's yeah. true yeah, yeah. so yeah, true. you're still delegating responsibility yeah so that maybe that the thing is that you need to be able to delegate it to somebody Someone. that you trust Call yeah trust. Okay. like you can get a professional nanny <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know like, that's true yeah but the thing is that the children will still miss out on who you are oh, so yeah. your second question about an hr very mm-hmm. interesting question there will always be many more yeah, yeah. but i am the only, only mom, mom for your baby yes. wife yeah. and my husband yeah. True. Yeah. but the now. other way <laughs> you go go <girl. laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sure. The other see. way I look yeah. at it sure. is, I don't know if you've ever worked with somebody, and in your question, in your mind, you have this question: Who grew this person? Yeah. 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 Or oh, why did this times. person go to school? Yeah. yeah. So the way I look at it is, parenting and education are actually background human resource development functions. True. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Because the workplace receives a almost finished product yeah. Yeah. yeah true so i want to raise children who are self-motivated yeah who will not wait for the hr to motivate them. yeah, yeah. Yes. And i want to raise children world. who know their goals and want mm. know what they want to do and and, and are motivated and can have a good work ethic yeah. Yeah. yes and it's only parenting and education that can, do, can that. do that the mm-hmm. challenges you can see our education system yeah struggling the teachers who are developing the human resources are underpaid and are not valued <laughs> and then the mothers who are trying to do this are working <laughs> yeah. no yeah. no i'm yeah. talking about the stay home mom oh, 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 yeah. we are bashed for that yeah, yeah. Oh. but for me i'm proud of what i do i actually <laughs> i actually <laughs> like apologize <laughs> <laughs> oh, bashi, bashi. I actually do not call myself a stay home mom. I call myself a work at home mom because okay. I'm working. Mm-hmm. Okay. When I look at stay home or work at home where home is your priority, yes. where yes. you spend most of your time and your energy. Yes. So, yes, I do at time when the children were much younger I had two mm-hmm. maids, but now I have one. Yes. But yes, I cook. I clean. I haven't had a full time maid since December. I'm mm-hmm. expecting okay. a baby, but I'm working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I cook. Okay. I clean. I organize the children's rooms. I do you many manage things. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. But there are other things I delegate. For example, I can have somebody bring for me shopping from from the from market. The market. Yes. You know, yeah. Because I feel that it's best better use of my Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. To make breakfast for my family yeah. rather than rather than go out go so the there are certain yeah. things i will delegate so for example if i have a maid the work i will delegate is the housework yes yeah. and the, the the maid will even know unless i'm not there mm-hmm. i will be uh, we have a, a little girl now mm-hmm. uh, she's two years so i'll do everything related to the children yes. i'll shuttle them to work supervise the homework mm. the child related thing yeah. yes Which and makes then sense. my housekeeper yeah. yes. will do the everything else. Yeah. <laughs> unless we are not there and then we delegate that function. that is well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so paul i like you like um, i really appreciate what, what what you said because you've spoken to me like manuel i had the question that really used to weigh on me was your parents, you've been educated, Mm -hmm. you can give back to the economy. I'm an economist, so I'm always about how can people contribute. We we know people would blame the government for everything, Mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, as individuals, we need to know what is your contribution as an individual. Mm -hmm. And it has always bothered me that if you're staying at home to look after your children, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Like, what is your (laughs) own doing? But I'd like that you have spoken to me in a way that that child that you're raising, Angie said it before and I totally agree, Mm -hmm. The mm. child that's raised mm. by a mom or a dad in the home and is there is different from yeah. the other yeah. children. Yeah. So you are giving back to, to the, the economy, economy in that whole way. child. Yeah. Yeah. That is yes. your addition. And it's, yes. I don't think you it's can... A, it's a very, it's you can't can 100% that. Yeah. You can't yeah. do that. Okay. But I need to, and to know that aside, I understand the benefits. <laughs> I do. I hear about them. Yes. But my issue is, I had shared with the ladies mm. before, like maternity leave, mm. I wanted to go back before mm. the four months had elapsed that mm. I had been given. Mm. For many reasons, but mostly because I felt I was, my 
Yes. I was brain. running mad <laughs> half the time. Yeah. I was running mad. It's a schedule, but it's like it doesn't end. It yeah. doesn't mm. stop. It's like a roller coaster. So my question to you is, how do you stay sane? Same. Or for you, is you, I you're sick. <laughs> so I don't. Sometimes I think maybe it's me because of yeah. my like gen, my makeup. Maybe yeah. I'm a certain character or person. You're like a man. Ma yeah, me. maybe, maybe no, it's me. Like a poem like you were raised <laughs> by I a man who actually worked. Yeah, so I it's know. very difficult for you to understand that a woman can stay at yeah. home. Yeah, yeah. It is, there is nothing as there's no job as nice as being a stay. Oh. That's what I want to understand. Yeah. 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 So I want so yes. Yeah, so it just tell me about that. Sane? How do you stay sane? Is it is it okay? Is it do you get out? Because even I, at my own job, mm. I get out sometimes to breathe mm. when yeah. the, when the boss is like this, that, or that, and I'm like, oh my shit, I can't deliver. Mm. I get out to breathe. Mm. And also at home, sometimes I can't deliver everything, and I get out to breathe. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to do this 24 yeah. hours, yeah. so how is this for you? So it's really like any other job. I think the key thing is to find what works. Yeah. So for example, the time when the children are young, it's like you're constantly cleaning the house, constantly yes. cleaning. Yes. I remember there is a time I mentioned to somebody that I seem to cut onions for lunch and then and for supper. To, like one hour later I'm cutting Cut. onions for supper. Yes, yeah. like, that's it was nice. crazy. So for me one of the really coolest places in a house is the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. It's the uh, one place you can lock yourself up. Yeah. Yeah. And just, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's Angie's place. They will understand that you can't go in yeah. because yes. it's a private yeah. area. So even just Having a bath, just having shower time for me is a very relaxing time. Mm, true. Um, I take advantage of the times when children are asleep. Yeah. Uh, when the when the older ones are with. so I there's a nine years difference between a second born and third yeah. born. Yeah. So I'm now back into the. That's <laughs> the I thought I was freedom, yeah. but I'm yeah. back. Yeah. One with another one on the way. Exactly. Yeah. So, but I also have. Uh, I mean, there's nothing like girlfriends. I don't know about mm. you guys, yeah. but there's nothing like having your girlfriends whom you can be silly yeah. with. So mm. I have Natural my medicine. Exactly, <laughs> I have my schoolmates from uh, my high school. We have a WhatsApp group. Then yes. I have my my church fellowship, my mm. cell. Mm. Um, so and then twice a week, I am out of home for a couple of hours for a Bible study fellowship. Mm. Okay. So I have things that I do to nourish myself, okay. yes. and of course, salon time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. let me ask. So like now, when do you find out about? Like Sebulime, like Nantaba. like like Nantaba, like do you click like because me I felt like when I was on my like when I was on my no 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 like this I don't know there's something about work and and cutting no, through Sebulime yes. and analyzing and you are six step people like and you but are you also realize that getting it like half the time you're analyzing things. You don't even know. You, you know yeah, yeah, about. but that's why. Right. That's, that's, yes. that's, that's what I'm saying. Like you, can, so I kind of feel like some part of your brain is like going. Anyway, uh, there are different activities that nourish you. Because yeah, my friends would always say, "And you're yes. so boring these days." And my heart, I'm like. You okay. have no I'm fulfilled. Idea what <laughs> they don't know yeah, when you know like to take coffee breaks. Then you start making friends with people who are like, like you. you. Like you know, you have your boring Bible like study. You, right? You see, boring to one person is extremely. <laughs> let me ask. Let me ask. Like now, the both of you, right. yeah. I think for me, my like one of my you know fear, not fears, is like after I've raised my children, they're amazing, amazing, amazing. They even now they, I think, because I'm lucky. I have I have the best job in the world. I take care of people's babies and my baby. Yes. But uh, like I'm like at the end of the eighteen like years. Mm -hmm. Then you become like this madam. You're like pink coconut, like oh my gosh, like what a big like at what point like your dream like you've held back your dreams, you've held back your vision, you've held back, back the you know, kind of they've waited, you've kind of put them on the back. side, you've held them, you put them on the side. Me, I'm, like I said, me, I'm lucky that me, my dreams and vision and my purpose yeah. in life is in that direction. Yeah. But like now for you guys where it was Dico. Mm. or it is human, human resource, resource. Yes. like but now you get to the end and then now there are big boys and girls going out like mommy gone university yeah mm. uh, 
now you're getting back into our life of this remember one she old, mentioned old. she went back to school yeah mm, you yes. have you, you you take on activities that keep you and then also yeah, the kind of important. once again the kind of work she's doing i'm just human resource management every day just like you see your cradle yeah. is every day i, I get that but you're I, not okay maybe just to, just <laughs> to you're not you. writing reports <laughs> Yeah, maybe just understand. to chip in. No, no, no. Yeah. Trust me. Just I, to chip in. <laughs> dreams change. Yes. True. Mm, they um, do. I remember when I was leaving campus. Well, the, the thing is that I'd started dating my husband then. But say, just a little before. Um, one of the things was I wanted to work for this great organization like UNICEF, mm, travel, yeah. be in New York, yes. you know. And then Pumla, I met my husband. <laughs> Yeah, I met my husband <laughs> and we got married about a year out of campus. I was 24. Yeah. yeah. And so you have one dream and then somebody else comes into the picture. Yeah. And so you now yeah. have to talk our dream. Yeah. No, it's not mind. just my yes. dream. Yeah. And then the children come and then that's totally different. different if yes. you want a good life for them, maybe you have to prioritize their education. Yeah. And then that's a whole different ball game. So I found that over time, my dream has sort of has changed, changed and changed. evolved. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's not about sticking to one thing. If it's HR, there are certain careers that are so versatile. So I still do consultancy, mm -hmm. but I do it at my time. Yeah, and at my time and my, yeah. my terms. With the internet now, you can work from, from anywhere. From yeah. Yeah. So That's it's true. just about finding ways to be able to still use your skills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then there are other things that I get paid for that, you know, you just, well, well, people, well, I think you mentioned that your brain sort of dies, <laughs> dies. <Fizzles> out. <laughs> <laughs> there is also a certain common sense that comes to you. Thank there are certain you. solutions that mm. are so obvious coming, <laughs> from, <laughs> coming from experience yes. coming from time with yeah. god coming yeah. from yes. just walking around and looking at life being in touch with your with yourself exactly yes. that, you that that everybody else yes. doesn't see, see and yes. you're like you're but busy it's running so around yeah. 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 So i want to ask and maybe this is to everyone but mostly to you pal is it possible like i agree with you mm -hmm. that dreams and visions do change mm -hmm. is it possible that your your dream and your vision could be to nurture that yeah. is also yeah. possible, yeah. yes. Because oh, yeah. for me, growing yes. up, yes. I always knew I wanted to have a family, get yeah. married, have a family. Oh, so my dad, 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 I prefer looking at glasses and plates than oh, clothes. Oh, girl, so, I feel you. Like, seriously. <laughs> what no. Glasses, glasses, yeah. no. glasses, glasses cuts. plates, cutlery. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Like, like, right. yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's different. For it is. Different I used to people. think it was weird to feel that way. But, but oh, also, no. sometimes <laughs> I think that being a stay-at-home mom, or work at home mom or personal residence managers. Like, oh, oh, come on now. PRM. I mean, really, if you can, mean, if you can, uh, if you can yeah. rename yeah. cleaner, sanitization, I know yes. 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 sanitary yes. I guess expert. So. Yes. Yes. But it can also be a phase in your life. Yeah where after a while your spouse then can now be supportive of whatever dream you want yes. if you want to go back to study if you then yeah. want to get back into your career but as long as maybe children have passed a certain formative age yeah, yeah. then it can be easier yeah. for you, you know for that. you to transition sure. so you can put your dream on hold and work on it do the background yeah. work for it yeah and then pick it up later okay. but you can't pick up family later no no it's, it's very same. difficult it's very to pick difficult. up family yes mm -hmm. if you've you missed, if you've missed a stage yeah. you can never it. get it that is that's true that's a gone. critical thing yeah. but career the career you're fighting for now 10 years may even be obsolete mm. so, right. how, <laughs> yes. so for me it's maybe, about maybe maybe yours maybe yours old. <laughs> Policy has to work. I don't know if you've seen the report that has that came out of Davos where they were talking about the ten critical skills for mm -hmm. the future. Mm -hmm. So it's not about 
finance and this it's actually yeah. creative yeah. analytical emotional yeah, yeah, yeah. intelligence, intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Yeah, yeah. True, yeah. and very strangely those are the things you get when you're parenting yeah. Yeah. because yeah. you'll be able to see that this child is different from this yeah. child yeah. to be able to analyze if there's a problem you know so it's a place that you can actually grow mm. have you faced judgments mm. Or misconception. Or, like have or, have or have you judged? Or have you judged? Or have you decided to work? To work and not stay home. Like yeah. Oh wow. Um. I think for me, it's I've I've gone through a couple of phases. Yeah. yeah. I think also because I'm a confident person, it's very difficult to, to intimidate you. me. Yes. So when you say I'm a stay home mom, I'll tell you I'm a personal residence manager. That's and and that's that's that always. <laughs> yes. Girl. At gatherings, that always shuts the conversation yeah. down. Because I'll tell them I do events planning, I do catering, yeah. I do cleaning, because that's what you do yeah. in, our in home. your home. Yeah. That's very yeah. true. All together, but it's just that other people are paid for it. Yeah, yeah. true. Um, so you think you should other... be paid for being a stay home? <laughs> we'll get back to yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> judging <laughs> other moms, I don't know if I can call it judging. But there are times when you come across somebody who you think is working simply because they want to work. Mm. Yeah. And yet there are challenges at home. At Remember home. the common mm. sense yes. you were talking about? Yes. Where you said, look, unless you cannot afford to live on your husband's income, but staying at home would solve this. A lot of mm. okay. yes. But you find that somebody is yeah. adamant oh, and says, I cannot. Okay. Yeah. And keeps yeah. struggling. So I'll not say I'll judge that person, but I'll just be like, if you only knew that you are the solution. Yeah. Yeah. But one of the things that changed my, my mind was the book Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg. Mm. Mm -hmm. When she talks about both worlds, you know, she's working and then she's having young children and she's struggling so when you're at home you want to go to work when you're at yeah, work you yes. want to go to work yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah. so everyone is feels guilty yeah, mm. no the one who is at judged. home you feel you're not mm. contributing okay. the one who is at yeah. work you yeah. feel you're feeling yeah. children so yeah. just being able to understand the dynamic helps me to to know that um it's okay. Yeah. People will choose depending on what yeah. um, different level they are yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. In, their in their lives. So, Pal, as a stay-at-home mom, my question to you is um, about loss. You know, how do you deal with that, knowing that I'm still I'm a stay-at-home mom. My husband, you don't know, you don't know what the future holds. What if my husband passes? You know, how do I deal with it? How do I start? Like, mm. what what I'm doing is just raising my children, because mm. that's where most of us, you know turn the tables mm -hmm. a bit and you're like you know what yeah. let, let me do this because i don't know what the future holds i in person my husband tells me that himself <laughs> he's like you know what we don't know what the future holds mm -hmm. i don't want to bring it like he, yeah. he keeps saying people don't want to talk about the facts but they are real mm -hmm. like yeah, what if something real. happens mm -hmm. i need yeah. you to also you what know because we, we've seen those examples of this guy pass he had this company and it flies it, mm -hmm. You know, it, it goes dies. down the, the drain, mm. it just dies. Yeah. But if you're, you know, you're balancing, mm. that's my question. Okay, thank you yeah. so much. Of course, that's always uh, a challenging thing. But yeah. I also, uh, from a Christian point of view, uh, choose to live a life of faith, not fear. Mm. Because all of us can pass on. I could even pass on before yeah. my okay. husband. Yeah. But again... Mm. Coming to what stay-home moms do, we don't just sit and watch telenovelas. Mm. <laughs> so as a stay-home mom, you need to be engaged and know what your finances are. Mm -hmm. If you're acquiring property, are both your names yeah. are on this property? Uh, do you know where That's documents not. are? Have you made a will? Yeah. So that you're able to have a place to start from. Yes. And so we've, we have a personal business, for mm. example, that both my husband and I run. So it's not that you're just sitting there and doing absolutely mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. But it's a great opportunity to start a family business, mm -hmm. uh, as what the people like calling a side hustle. I don't mm -hmm. like calling it a side hustle because it remains on the side. Yeah. But <clears throat> you, you have something that you do with your hands. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to do consultancy. <laughs> but I don't, I, I'm not going to, to make decisions because I'm afraid. Okay. that of death of, or, of death or yeah. what the future mm. will hold mm. the key thing is what is our vision for parenting mm. you know what is what has god placed mm. on our hearts for parenting? like let's do first things exactly. first yeah. so when that 
river comes, we will cross the it. Bridge, yeah. Yeah. But the thing yeah. is that as a stay home wow, or work at home wife and mother, you need to be engaged and involved. Mm -hmm. So you know what the... Because yeah. there are some people who are so bleak. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where land titles <laughs> are. are the We've seen they them. Know. We know they are <laughs> the ones we, we know. know. <laughs> the, the, the brain is yeah, not working. You know, maybe they wouldn't be so you, you Yeah, they would also yeah, be You need to know yeah. who, uh, who your bankers are, you know. Just time. to really be engaged. Yeah. Yeah. So that you have a place to start from. Yeah. yeah. So we've prayed for a long life together yeah. to yes. see our children Amen. children mm -hmm. yeah um and i i cannot live a life and parent and do marriage from a point a of view. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. important Makes sense. thank you so much for joining us Paul. it has been a very informative session and i think at the end of the day you've summarized it really well the truth is you could lose your spouse yeah. and you're working and still it, it, yeah. with a stay home mom it's the same thing that said um, let's try to be the best mothers that we can be I am a living example of a stay home mom who woke up 10 years later and started a company so there, there is no limit a successful company but our babies can't wait we need to look after them today here and now thank you so much for joining us on Bump Love and we shall see you next time